Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts, and today we have the fellow ODE, one of the best marketed, best campaigned filtered coffee grinders on the market. Let's get into it and see what makes this grinder special. The fellow ODE. Now, I feel like everyone knows this grinder. It came off the back of a Kickstarter campaign. They use Kickstarter really as a marketing tool and not as a funding tool. Their video was insane and the unit looks hot. It's full metal build. It looks like it could be at home in a cafe or at home compared to some of the more domestic looking units out there. It's really, really, really beautiful. I'm sure you've read and, and watched a lot of reviews now in terms of the 31 uh, grind adjustments where you tend to just be using the finer settings because really if you're not using dark roast in Australia, you're using more for lighter roast for our filter you're a bit more limited in the range and the way they've done their blades, it's 64 mil flat. They've done a very different end to the blade so it doesn't allow you to go finer. In saying that, companies like SSP have done new blades and there is a lot of work coming out on new blades which will be available in the new version of these later in 2022 and also companies making them. One thing that's getting updated too is also the container to try and have less static. So in many reviews online, you see people drop a little bit of water into it to reduce the static onto the beans. And we're not gonna be covering that because we're kind of looking off the shelf, out of the box, like for like across the four grinders. So really to compare this against the WPM, the Encore, the Breville, and this. So looking at it, it's hot. Like I can't tell you, in real life, I love the look of it. Fellow being fellow, always release their products in black and then come out with other colors like they did with the kettles. So I'm assuming there will be new colors in time, maybe a white, which would be cool. Now, the range here that they've got inside, we found is for your darker roast, so not so much applicable for what we're using. And we found that using a setting of three here was a bit more comparable to a setting of 12 on the Encore. But in saying all that, Let's do what we did with all the grinders. Check out 18, four sets of 18 grams, grind them through, check how loud it is, and then show you also how you'd take the front out to clean it and et cetera like that. Let's get started and grind out the first one. As usual, let's tar this, lock it back in. Get the grinder going and Now it will beep when it stops. While those blades are detecting resistance, it keeps going, it's got a PID in that motor. Let's take that out and check. And we got 17.8 out. So first run, 17.8. Let's see what the next three runs have. And let's also get the decimal meter out. Lock it in. Now it is a little bit loud in the early 90s while grinding, but for some reason compared to the other WPM which was also in the 90s, this doesn't feel as loud sitting next to it and I'm not sure why, but it doesn't. And we got 17.9 out, so 17.8 first run, 17.9 second. Let's do two more runs and see how they go. One thing I haven't been doing is tapping that to really get it all out. I think I've actually ruined the experiment because now we've got 18.4 because I had forgotten to tap that out earlier. So in saying that, let's just go for one more run and see, let's just get it out. It is a messy grinder and it's well documented online so we're not gonna go too far into that. and 17.7. I do feel a bit slack that I forgot to do that on the first two runs. So I might do this again and just give you a really fast run through the results. 
So we'll just get the videographer to really speed through, but I did want to do all these tests live just to show there was no camera tr trickery and we were being fair with all the machines. And we're just going to quickly weigh out another four sets and go again quickly. And here we go again. Okay, tart at zero. Let's lock that in. 18 grams. There we go. And we got 18.1 on this first run. spot on on the second run seventeen point nine on the third run actually changed to eighteen just as I was grabbing it let's see what the final run does And once again, spot on 18. Super consistent this run. The last run, it was my fault. I actually forgot to drop out any excess from the chamber there. Now, one thing we're gonna show you is how to clean them. Quite simple to clean, but we won't go into detail because there is so many videos online on this, but effectively the front panel just pops off. You just grab like that off and now, there's two sets of four screws. So if you were to just want to like reset the grind, like bring it back to zero, you do the top two and side two, the plate comes off and you can realign it to zero and put it back on. If you wanted to get into cleaning, you'd go to the ones that are off center, these four, and the whole plate comes off. I'm just gonna turn the power off, like paranoid that I am with all grinders, I love it being completely off and grab this little screwdriver to show you guys. Also to note, with these four screws, there is just a little arrow just before them, pointing at them. So they're the ones where you can get in to clean the grinder. The other ones are really just there to reset it back to zero. And it comes out like that. That last screw was a bit stubborn, but it's still quite easy. Got your four screws in front. So looking back inside here, you can remove this little spring here that holds it all together. You push it in, it comes out, and then you could clean these blades and those blades. So these blades are fixed, they're the ones that rotate, and you could pull that spring out there and give it all a clean using a brush, give everything a clean. You'll see there's that little bit of the tension in there. Um, this is a new grinder, you'd probably find a little bit more build up with time. Once again, you could use um, coffee grinder cleaning tablets like the Cafeta or the grinds to run it through and put a seasoning coffee and every so often you could pull this out, use a brush, give it a proper clean, then just put it all back together. It's actually super simple and it does remind me a bit of the EK in terms of how to do it. I'm just used to the commercial aspect of the EK, but yeah. And it's back together. I know there's people that love this grinder and some people that complain that it could have been better. I'm not sure if it's due to the marketing campaign has so much hype and it's matching that hype because it really is a cool little grinder. Messy, but cool. And personally, I love the look of it. So I'm a bit biased when it comes to this grinder. Once Fella does the update to the blades, in the container, I think this will be a weapon little grinder. Let's look back at all four grinders again and review the pros and cons of each one and work out which one's best for you. I got to admit, I am a little bit of a fanboy. I bought one on Kickstarter, I've had one for a while. We obviously carry them at coffee parts. So as much as there's a few little things that are annoying about them, the look and what they've done is actually pretty hot. I'm curious to know your thoughts. What do you think of them? Do you have one? Did you buy it on Kickstarter? Have you bought one recently? Are you waiting for the new updated version? Let us know in the comments below. I feel like it's a hot topic right now. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It will help us grow our channel, our community. We wanna go on a journey with you guys. It means the world to us. Thank you again.